The Vortex Viper HD binoculars are the rare Gold Deluxe binoculars. They're neither too small, as some highly portable compacts can be, nor too big as some of the Mega Chassis 15 power binoculars are. Instead, these occupy a very happy, just right spot in between not only sizes and optical performance, but also pricing. Meet Vortex's Viper H. We're going to talk mainly about the X42 model, but I've been hunting with its big brother, the Vortex Viper HD Tanks 42, for years and because the only real difference is magnification, all the perspectives of size and performance of the 8X apply equally to the 10X. Note that the Viper HD line also has Tanks 50 and 12X50 models, but the Viper HD, along with only a half dozen peers, gives you excellent optics for well under $1,000. In fact, you can probably find this binocular for about half that price. Vortex Viper HD over. Unlike many Asia source binoculars, the Vortex Viper HD uses a higher class of glass. While Vortex calls this HD, which stands for high definition, there is no real quantitative measure of this category. Unlike fluorite or ED glass, which stands for extra low dispersion, brands can use HD pretty much at well. However, my testing indicates that Vortex's blend of glass provides better light transmission, low light performance, and color renditions than that in its Vanquish and Raptor lines which use standard glass. You can test the optics yourself. It's easiest when you have a second binocular to compare the image with. But even if you don't, stabilize a Viper HD against a fence post or car door or other solid rest, and pay close attention to the outside of the image. You shouldn't see any distortion or blurring with the Viper HD. You often do with binoculars made with inferior glass. You may also notice the light weight of the Vortex Viper HD. That's a function of the polycarbonate chassis. As you move up in price, you'll often start to see composition of binoculars change from polycarb to aluminum to magnesium, and then other, more exotic alloys. The stiffer the chassis, the more durable the binocular. But the polycarbonate body gives two advantages to the Vortex binocular. First, it's lighter than a metallic body. Second, the polycarbonate tends to dampen vibrations, so you should see less shaking of the image inside the Viper HD. What the Vortex Viper HD does best, given its all-around talents, the Vortex Viper HD is at its portable best in the field, whether hunting or birdwatching, hiking, or traveling. The relatively short barrel is only 5-1-2 inches from objective lens to eye cup makes it easy to deploy from a chest harness, and at less than 1-1-2 pounds, it doesn't weigh down your neck. It's also very comfortable in hand, thanks to that lightweight and short stature. But Vortex has sculpted the tents on the underside of each barrel, which easily find the swell of your thumbs and enable users to lock in the optic to minimize shaking. The three position eye cups are positive and comfortable, and the textured finish is easy to grab and hold without feeling slick. All that adds up to one of the best compact binoculars for the money. Testing the Vortex binoculars. I put the Vortex Viper HD into service for two successive deer seasons in my home in Montana and have been happy with their performance. Deer season covers the gamut from hot and windy to cold and snowy, and the binocular handled all the temperature and atmospheric conditions without a hitch. I opt for the Tanks 42 version for most of my open country deer hunting, but for tree stand hunting, I wear the X42. They give me significantly more field of view and a few more minutes of low light brightness, capabilities I'd gladly trade for a little less magnification. Thank you everyone for watching us till the end, it would be a great pleasure for us if you are a little helped with this video. Comment us below.